Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and in this video, we'll be looking at the LACO Valencia 42 on a variety of different straps. This is the factory brown calf strap that it comes on. And uh, I will put this on wrist and show you my issue with this strap. It is too big for my wrist. It just needs a couple more holes here. So let me get that on wrist while I'm zoomed out here. Still wearing the swordfish as uh, both of these have loom dials, which hopefully you've seen in my previous video. So let's just sort of throw this on wrist real quickly here. Uh, for reference, I have a six and a half inch wrist with a 52 millimeter wristband. And the lug to lug on this watch is 50 millimeter. So although it doesn't overhang my wrist, it just looks really big because it's basically all dial with very small bezel. Um, as you can see, I can fit two fingers through here very easily. The strap's just too big. I, I don't know, maybe that's size for an eight inch wrist or seven and a, I, don't, I don't even know, maybe, probably eight inch. So let me zoom in here, give you a little better view of this. It, it is a nice looking strap and a nice watch nice looking watch and it's also a nice watch but um, just a little bit too big for my wrist so let me throw this on some straps I'm not sure what I'll put it on but uh, we'll we'll look at it together here so I just realized I didn't go over the specs of the watch all of the specs it has a 42 millimeter case size and again 50 millimeter lug to lug the lug width here is 20 millimeter and the thickness on this is 12 millimeter. It's a 12 millimeter thick watch. To me, it looks like it's thicker than that just because of the, basically just one profile there just goes straight up. So since I have it here, I will show you the quick release. This is a Barton quick release black leather strap. Should go on easily enough, assuming I'm putting it on the right way. I think this will look good with black, since it does have the black hands. Black hands, black uh, Arabic numerals, and the minute indicators as well, the minute uh, track. Also, you can see it says Made in Germany there, even though it does have the Japanese Miyota movement. So let's see how these, yeah, so these holes work fine for my wrist. A lot more holes on this. So I should count those. So the factory strap has one, two, three, four, five, six holes. And this one will count in a minute here. Let me fix this last keeper. I think this looks just fine on the black leather strap. So here we are zoomed out. So it does look too big on my wrist though. So there we go. Oh, let's count the holes on this strap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is just 20 millimeters straight down. This one does taper from 20 down to 18. Oh, there's another good comparison of the... This strap is just strange to me. I don't know why. I mean, it's got uh, twice as many adjustments up here. So, anyway, let's, um, let's put it on the next strap. All right, so these next few straps here will be the Straps Co. Vintage Suede uh, Quick Release Straps. This one is, of course, black. I mentioned previously I wanted to get the one with the cream accents, but uh, they just had this red one in stock, so I bought it. Uh, doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Let me get this on wrist. Curious which 
hole position I'm on. That may be the last one, actually. Be able to tell better with these other colors I have. I don't really wear these straps. I just bought them to try on different watches and see how they look. But this last keeper is really loose. But the the um, suede is kind of kind of grippy, so I don't know if that would pull off or not. So let's zoom out here. I think it looks alright. Kind of similar to the the previous uh, black leather strap just with the suede texture. All right, let's bring on the next one. All right, I guess we're going from darker to lighter. This is a brown vintage suede strap. It's a little darker than the factory strap that it came on. This looks a little more formal, I guess. So let's get this one on wrist here. I think it looks good. You know, I think any strap really is going to look good with this because it's uh, the white dial with the black hands. Nothing really is going to clash with that. But I'm not an expert on picking uh, colors. So it looks like I'm on the second to last hole position here. I would like to try a 39 millimeter version of this watch. Anyway, there we go. Let's zoom out here. It's kind of funny how big this thing looks. You know, it's a white dial which looks bigger than black and then also just so big. So. All right, let's go to the next strap option. So this is the last of my Straps Co. Vintage Suede Straps. This is tan. You can see it's lighter than the factory strap. I, uh, I do like this combination as well. Like I was saying, I think any strap's going to look pretty good with this. Um, looking over at these other straps I have here, these may be a little more controversial, but... Uh, Got to try them on. We'll get to those in a moment here. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. I still need, still do need to get some actual leather straps versus the suede, but these will do for now. there you go let's move on to the next strap option well I have a handful of NATO straps and single piece fabric straps or single piece NATO straps I guess that's kind of an oxymoron but anyway um, just figured I'd throw the first one on on camera here I think it'll look all right Probably not, not necessarily a, um, a NATO strap watch, but hey, let's give it a try. Let's uh, let's do this one first. This is a Bark and Jack NATO strap. Every time I get this out, I remember the watch that I bought that came with it. Remember, I still need to review that one. So... That actually doesn't look too bad. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Is this the um, needle strap candidate? That, uh, it actually doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Let's get this one on wrist. I don't know who makes these NATO straps, but uh, they definitely feel premium. They feel nice and soft. It 
So there we go. Let's uh, zoom out here. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's floating on my wrist, actually. Look at that. That's kind of funny. Wow. So, yeah, I guess needle strap isn't going to be too good for this. I'm not sure why that is. But let me take this off here for a moment. I think the lugs don't really curve down that much. Maybe the relationship of the spring bars to the bottom of the case. I'm not sure what it is with this watch. So maybe I'll just try the single piece straps next. Actually, I think I have one more natal. I'll be right back with that one. So this will be the last natal for this video. I think the color looks okay with it. And then the next strap I have here are just the single piece straps. I think I'll just throw all those on in a row without pausing the video. We'll try something new. So I'm really cinching this one down. Pull it back through here. I guess needle shafts might work. You know, this is a uh, a marine watch from back in the, geez, I don't know, 1800s or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure what, what these are styled after, actually, from what time frame, but those could be considered maybe military watches and uh, needle straps are for military. I don't know, whatever, just uh, some crazy idea I'm thinking about. So there we go. Zoomed out. Yeah, it's really just... I've not really experienced this with a watch before. It just looks like it's floating on my wrist there. So, there we go. All right, I'll be right back with the next one. All right, so these next straps here are all the Vario twill pattern straps. This doesn't look bad either. Like I said, I think they're all going to look pretty good. So let's just throw this on here quickly. This is a little bit interesting. The holes are circles, but the tang is, of course, uh, you know, rectangular. It's a, a flat profile there. So there we go. These look a little dressier to me, so maybe they work with this watch a little better than just plain needle straps. There we are, zoomed out. All right, let's get the next one on wrist here. I'll just show this next one here being put on and then I'll go back to pausing the video for the next few here. So this is a midnight blue color. And yes, it does have Blackened stainless hardware, which I bought on accident. I had meant to buy stainless hardware, but hey, you know, there you go. There's a sample of how the blackened stainless looks, which I guess kind of goes with the hands and the indices. I shouldn't have put my fingerprints on the dial. All right, let's get this on wrist. Ooh, that might be a little bit tight. All right, there we go. As always, let me know which, uh, which straps you like. All right, be right back with the next one. So here we are with the gray twill strap 
Now, every time I put a gray strap on, it, it surprises me how much I like the gray strap with the stainless steel watches. This actually looks pretty good. I, I would wear this, no, no problem. Let me zoom back out. And then the last strap I have here is kind of a wild card, I guess, but I think it will look good as well. So I'll be right back with that last strap. All right, so here's the last strap option for the video today. Uh, again, this looks this is a good looking strap on this watch. It's starting to sound like a broken record, I know, but they all look good on this um, the white dial with the black hands and the black um, indices. It would be hard to find a strap that looks bad with this. Let's get this through here. So, there we go. As always, thanks for watching. If you could, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I have a lot more videos in the pipeline here. Uh, like the video if you found it useful or if you like it. And uh, please leave a comment. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.